Humans have six basic emotions. Happiness, surprise, sadness, anger, fear and disgust. We also experience more complex feelings such as embarrassment, pride, guilt, joy, interest and anticipation. Children with Autism Spectrum Disorder, also known as ASD, often find it hard to read and to use these emotions. We have an area in the brain that is pretty well devoted to face processing. It becomes stronger and very well entrenched rather early in life. Many individuals with autism did not seem to show that same kind of development. Over the last couple of years, this has led to several attempts to teach emotion recognition and expression to individuals with ASD using humanoid robots. Hi, I am Zeno. I am part of the project D-Enigma. I have been developed to improve and support autism therapy. Um, first of all, it is important to notice that uh, individuals on the autism spectrum usually have a affinity, a very high affinity to technical systems because of their controllability, their predictability. Um, humans, on the other hand, usually are often driven by, to them, difficult to comprehend factors such as emotional factors, social factors, which are not easy for them to understand. It has been a big challenge actually to choose the right robot because none of the robots unites all the factors we want to have. We want to have good um, facial expression skills in the robot, we want to have good uh, body gesture um, skills in the robot, we don't want it to be too loud or too noisy because they're all motor driven so zzz, 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 <laughs> can be very awkward and, and even frightening. So having that said we needed to do pre-studies um, with the robot and the children um, and they were very encouraging in the sense that the children liked the robot, um, they didn't show any anxiety or fear and indeed got interested. So one crucial question to us and of course to people employed as a therapist um, is often can the robot or will the robot at some point replace the therapist? Um, I think we will mainly um, provide a tool to the therapist and to the children um, which will make it easier to give children um, access to, to some body or something to, to train with on a more frequent basis but it will also be giving the caretakers and the therapists valuable information by interacting maybe much more than they would usually with the child, um, measuring uh, changes in behavior of the children in a much more quantitative way um, and will give a lot of new information to them. So I think um, in that sense um, it fits very well into the zeitgeist um, of, of societies tendency to, to self-measure, self-improve uh, and self-optimize. So if we do all sorts of measurements for the typically developing, it seems almost natural to, to also develop um, special solutions for special um, partitions of society and help them with similar technology that can help them measure their behavior, measure their um, social and emotional expression, give them feedback um, and, and help them in that way to improve on aspects which they would usually find difficult. Mm -hmm.